Dejo, dejo. Coming from Kuga National Park. Hi, welcome back to Sevi Diary. So let's keep on the adventure starting from Lower Sevi Rest Camp. Today we woke up early at Nigbenia Lodge and when we entered the park we saw a hyena following a waterfall. Then we came across a pride of lions that was with a buffalo kill and there were some hyenas and jackals hanging around too. Later we saw a big herd of elephants including some adorable baby elephants blocking our path. So after an exciting drive we took a break at Lower Sabiris camp and now we are at Sunset Den. It's very close to Lower Sabi Rest Camp. In the water you can spot hippos, crocodiles and you also have a good chance of seeing wild cats and other big animals around here. There's a convenient parking area by the road where you can park your car and enjoy the view. So don't miss this dam, it's a worth visit. Is it? Oh, all these are repos. Oh. These are the rocks like oh. the structure. Now today we are planning to go to Satara as there is a good chance of spotting lions there. And let's see what we can discover today. Look at these female water bugs, they look really beautiful and they are so alert. Southern Bell. Ground. 
This is the first time on this trip we are seeing brown hornbills and they have some prey in their beaks. There are three of them. These hornbills are unique among hornbills. They spend a significant portion of their lives on the ground as they got their name brown hornbills. They are highly social birds often living in family groups consisting of a dominant breeding pair and several helpers. Typically, they are offsprings from previous breeding seasons. They are strong runners, primarily feeding on insects, small vertebrates and fruits. Ma tu tu. Tutu hondos. No, I think these are juvenile. Round hondos. Tu tu. Tiny. Can you see the tiny birds of giraffe? Hello giraffe. How are you? These birds and giraffes are like best buddies in the animal world. Giraffes have a special bond with certain birds. These birds do a really cool job. They munch up the tiny bugs and dirt that bother giraffes. It's like a spa day for giraffes and the birds are the spa therapists. Now one might wonder what's in it for the birds. Well, they get a two for one deal. First they enjoy a delicious snack. Mice and dirt are like a yummy meal for them. Second, they get a free ride on the tall and majestic giraffe as they do their job. It's a win-win friendship.
These are zebras. Wait. Today we are seeing so many animals for the first time on this trip. First we saw hornbills and now we are seeing these buffaloes, one of the big five. We are heading to Satara but before we get there we are going to visit a special tree called the Baobab tree. This tree is unique because it grows really big with a super thick trunk and a canopy of fruits at the top that makes it look like it's upside down. Imagine the tree turned over and that's how it looks. This tree is super tough even when there is no rain for a long time can survive because it stores water in its big trunk. You can find this tree right here. The southernmost one in all of Africa is in Kruger National Park. Not too far from Satara Rest Camp. They have put signs and maps to help you find it easily. Cool. कितना छोटा सा है मम्मा तो हटो मम्मा तो हटो मम्मा तो हटो यू अबे चला क्या पीछे जा रहे हैं साला गोप्रो से लेना गोप्रो से ले लो पीछे जा रहे हैं
was to right, to left, to right, not to left, to right. Today after checking out the Baba tree, we kind of got carried away with the beautiful surrounding and forgot to pay attention to the signs. So as a result, we got a little lost. But not to worry, we are heading back now. Maybe on the next safari, we'll make it to Satara. Look over there in the bushes, there's a leopard. We didn't expect to see this. What's coming on the road? It's been strolling on the road ahead of us for quite a while now. Oh my goodness, it has a wound on its tail. Thank you. 
but it doesn't seem to be bothered by it at all Now it's gone back into the bushes so let's continue our journey.
So now our goal is to reach Crocodile Bridge Gate. So we won't stop to see any animals for now. These elephants seem to be the same we saw earlier in the morning. Again, there are a lot of vehicles here. There must be something interesting happening. Do you see anything? Two lions. Two lions? Yeah. They have a... Yeah, you can see one of them face on and the other one looking that way. These must be the same lions from our last safari who were keeping an eye on the same elephants. But right now, we'll keep going without stopping. We have arrived at Crocodile Bridge Gate 10 minutes early, so first thing is to fill up the fuel tank for the next safari. So let's show you how the Crocodile Bridge Rest Cap looks from the outside. It's really unique because you get to stay right in the middle of the wild animals. Mowgli? Now we have reached our Nigvania Lodge and the staff here welcomed us back with the same excitement. We have pretty much came back in the same light as when we started in the morning. So that's it for today. See you in the next safari. Thank you. Come fast Mowgli. Coming from Kuga National Park. Yes, come, come. Yes, to the National Park. Yes, yes.